There are these creatures that came from off-world. These are outsiders. NASA, eminent for its weighty disclosures, has, as of late, uncovered that this new planet isn't simply fascinating because of its size, what's more, area, yet additionally in light of the fact that it displays lights that have all the earmarks of being counterfeit. Are we very nearly revealing insider facts that could change our comprehension of the universe? Could this revelation mean there is life on other planets? Go along with us as we investigate NASA's captivating discoveries and uncover the reality about these phenomenal lights. In 2007, NASA sent off the Dawn Shuttle with a mission to investigate the absolute most fascinating articles in our nearby planet group. Dawn was exceptionally furnished with three ion motors, permitting it to attempt an extraordinary excursion. Dawn's excursion started with a 14-month study of Vesta, the second biggest space rock in the belt. During this time, Dawn sent back point-by-point -point pictures and information, uncovering Vesta's complex surface and different land history. Subsequent to finishing its main goal at Vesta, Dawn set out on the second, and maybe most intriguing, piece of its venture. A nitty-gritty investigation of the Dwarf Planet series. Due to its ion motors, Dawn had the option to leave Vesta's circle and set out to reach Ceres, an accomplishment that conventional chemical drive would have found testing. These motors, given a persistent delicate push, permitted Dawn to travel huge distances effectively and go into a stable circle around Ceres. Found in 1801 by Italian stargazer Giuseppe Piazzi, Ceres is the biggest item in the space rock belt between Mars and Jupiter. For a long time, it was viewed as the littlest dwarf planet in our nearby planet group until its renaming in 2006. With a breadth of around 950 kilometers, Ceres is the biggest and most monstrous body in the space rock belt and one of the most interesting due to its exceptional attributes. As Dawn moved toward Ceres, researchers enthusiastically anticipated the main point-by-point -point pictures of this strange world. They saw bright spots dispersed across its surface, most quite in an enormous crater now known as a cater. These brilliant spots sparked prompt interest and theory within mainstream researchers. Previously Dawn's mission, the best picture we had of Ceres was a blurry, low-resolution picture taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Researchers knew pretty much nothing about this dwarf planet, and the possibility of at long last getting a nearby view was exciting. What mysteries would Ceres uncover? What new revelations awaited the mission? Dawn vowed to upgrade our comprehension of the nearby planet group's development and the job of water in molding planetary bodies. The brilliant spots on Ceres are not normal for anything seen on different space rocks. They appear to be made out of profoundly intelligent material, potentially salts abandoned by sublimated water. This led to the chance of cryovolcanism on Ceres, a cycle where volcanoes eject with water or briny fluid instead of liquid rock. However, what precisely are these baffling lights, and what do they uncover about the nature of Ceres? Could they be proof of progressing topographical action or something much more uncommon? Ceres stands out from other heavenly bodies in the space rock belt due to its size, mass, unique composition, and potential for water and ice. Not at all like average rough space rocks, Ceres has a composition more akin to a comet, suggesting it holds more mysteries about the early nearby planet group than we at any point envisioned. Following two years on the way, the Dawn spacecraft at long last began its approach to Ceres in mid-2015. This moment marked a huge achievement in the mission, as Dawn was able to deliver humankind's most memorable close-up perspectives on the biggest object in the space rock belt. As Dawn moved closer, the pictures of Ceres developed progressively point by point, offering brief looks at a world that had previously been shrouded in mystery. The first pictures uncovered a surface dotted with pits, indicative of a long history of impacts. However, it wasn't simply the pits that grabbed the eye of researchers and space enthusiasts alike. Among these features were strange bright spots that starkly stood out against the darker, rough terrain. As the pictures continued to improve in resolution, mainstream researchers buzzed with speculations about the nature of these bright spots. Were they ice patches reflecting sunlight, or might they be something considerably more colorful? Theories ranged from mineral deposits to possible indications of cryovolcanic action. Amazingly, closer assessment uncovered that the most brilliant spot was not a solitary substance, but rather a bunch of several distinct spots. This disclosure only deepened the mystery. 
the speculation that these were deposits of salts left behind by sublimating water gained traction. This would suggest that Ceres had, or still has, some type of geographical action capable of bringing water or briny fluids to the surface, where they quickly evaporate, leaving bright, intelligent deposits. These discoveries challenged existing thoughts about Ceres, illustrating a more unique and complex world than previously envisioned. The presence of such features indicated the possibility of subsurface water or briny pockets, which could have significant implications for how we might understand the potential for life in our solar system. However, what makes Ceres unique from other planets? Ceres is an intriguing planet, frequently depicted as a cold world with a rough yet permeable surface. Unlike most space rocks in the belt, which are primarily made out of rocks and metals, Ceres stands out due to its remarkable composition. Its surface is a blend of water ice and hydrated minerals, including clays and carbonates, which give it a distinctively less dense structure compared to its neighbors. This composition suggests that Ceres has a significant amount of water. The surface layer is rough but permeable, with ice and other volatiles trapped inside. This icy characteristic is more reminiscent of a comet than an ordinary asteroid, indicating a history that could involve a mix of rocky and icy materials. Digging deeper beneath its surface, Ceres reveals even more intriguing aspects of its composition. The dwarf planet is believed to have a differentiated interior, consisting of a muddy mantle and a core. The mantle is thought to be rich in water ice, accounting for roughly half of Ceres' total volume. This mantle, possibly a mix of rock and salty water, surrounds a core that could be made out of denser material, potentially silicates. The presence of such a large amount of water ice suggests that Ceres might have once harbored liquid water, particularly if its core was heated by radioactive decay early in its history. This internal structure sets Ceres apart from its asteroid neighbors and also raises intriguing questions about its potential for geological activity and the role of water in its evolution. Yet that's not all. The discovery of ammonia clays on Ceres suggests that the dwarf planet may have formed in a colder part of the planetary system and then migrated inward. The presence of ammonia can lower the freezing point of water, supporting the presence of subsurface brines. These insights into Ceres' composition and history not only enhance our understanding of this fascinating dwarf planet, but also provide valuable clues about the processes that govern the formation and evolution of icy bodies throughout the solar system. Cryovolcanism is an intriguing and relatively rare geological process, especially when compared to the more familiar volcanic activity we see on Earth. Unlike traditional volcanoes that erupt molten rock, cryovolcanoes, also known as ice volcanoes, eject volatiles such as water, ammonia, or methane. These substances can exist as liquids or gases in the supercool conditions where cryovolcanoes are found. On Ceres, the cryovolcanoes function by allowing water, loaded with dissolved salts, to reach the surface. When this briny water interacts with the vacuum of space, it rapidly sublimates, changing directly from a solid or liquid state to gas. This leaves behind bright, reflective salt deposits. These salt deposits form the mysterious bright spots seen on Ceres' surface. The most famous of these bright spots is located in a crater named Decatur known as Spot 5. This area has attracted significant attention due to its high reflectivity and occasional mists observed by the Dawn spacecraft. These mists are believed to be caused by the sublimation of water, suggesting that cryovolcanic activity could still be ongoing or may have occurred relatively recently. In addition to Spot 5, Ceres has several other bright spots, each with its own unique characteristics. These spots are not confined to a single region, but are scattered across the dwarf planet's surface, indicating that cryovolcanism might be a widespread phenomenon on Ceres. The presence of these bright spots highlights the dynamic nature of Ceres and raises important questions about the potential for life in our solar system. The dynamic and active nature of Ceres challenges previous assumptions that it was a geologically dead world. As the Dawn spacecraft provided more detailed images of Ceres, a wealth of surface features began to emerge. The surface of Ceres is dotted with a variety of craters, each telling a story of the dwarf planet's history. Some craters are relatively shallow and eroded, indicating an old surface that has been subjected to numerous impacts over billions of years. Others are more well-preserved, with sharp rims and deep bowls, 
suggesting more recent impacts. Interestingly, the number of craters on Ceres is less than initially expected. This discrepancy hints at geological processes that may be resurfacing the planet and erasing evidence of older impacts. One hypothesis is that Ceres' icy composition allows for a form of cryovolcanic resurfacing, where subsurface materials periodically well up and cover older features. This ongoing geological activity suggests that Ceres is not a static world but one that has been, and may still be, actively evolving. Additional evidence of surface deformation on Ceres comes from the observation of fractures, grooves, and ridges on its surface. These features indicate that the crust of Ceres has experienced significant stress and deformation. Some of the fractures appear relatively young, potentially a few hundred million years old, suggesting that the crust is still somewhat active. Grooves and ridges on Ceres likely formed as the crust was stretched and pulled apart, while rows of mountains and compressional ridges indicate regions where the crust was pushed together. These contrasting features provide a glimpse into the complex processes that have shaped Ceres over time. The presence of a large dome-shaped mountain in one of the craters suggests the possibility of internal pressure or upwelling of materials, potentially related to cryovolcanism. This feature, along with the extensive network of fractures and ridges, points to a dynamic and evolving surface. Dawn's mission has also uncovered intriguing surface compositions beyond the bright spots and reflective salts. NASA's data has revealed a range of surface materials that are crucial for understanding Ceres' geological history. For example, certain areas on Ceres display a dark, fine-grained material that contrasts sharply with the brighter salt deposits. This darker material is believed to be a type of carbon-rich substance, perhaps organic, adding another layer of complexity to Ceres' composition and suggesting a potential for prebiotic chemistry. The relationship between these materials and the icy surface might play a role in the chemical processes occurring on Ceres. Furthermore, the discovery of organic compounds on Ceres has sparked significant interest in astrobiology. Organic molecules, which are the building blocks of life as we know it, have been found as carbon-rich compounds. These findings are particularly exciting because they suggest that Ceres could have conditions suitable for the formation of more complex organic molecules. The presence of these compounds opens up possibilities about the potential for life, or at least the building blocks for life, being present on this dwarf planet. Another notable feature is the large number of mysterious dome-shaped structures on Ceres. These domes, some reaching heights of up to 6 kilometers, are thought to be the result of subsurface processes pushing material through the crust. Their shapes and sizes suggest that they might have formed from cryovolcanic activity or from internal pressure forcing materials upwards. Understanding these structures is essential for piecing together Ceres' geological history and its internal composition. Moreover, the gravity data collected by Dawn has provided insights into the internal density distribution of Ceres. Variations in gravity reveal the presence of different layers within the dwarf planet, indicating that Ceres' interior may have complex structures, including a potential subsurface ocean or briny pockets. These findings are critical for understanding the thermal history of Ceres and its potential to support conditions favorable for life. Overall, the Dawn mission has not only expanded our knowledge of Ceres, but has also transformed our understanding of small celestial bodies in the solar system. As further data is analyzed, researchers hope to continue unraveling the mysteries of this fascinating world and its potential to shed light on the broader processes that govern planetary formation and evolution. There are these creatures that came from off-world. These are outsiders. NASA, eminent for its weighty disclosures, has, as of late, uncovered that this new planet isn't simply fascinating because of its size, what's more, its location, but also because it displays lights that appear to be artificial. Are we on the verge of revealing secrets that could change our understanding of the universe? Could this discovery mean there is life on other planets? Join us as we explore NASA's captivating findings and uncover the truth about these extraordinary lights. In 2007, NASA launched the Dawn spacecraft with a mission to explore some of the most intriguing objects in our solar system. Dawn was equipped with three ion thrusters, allowing it to undertake an extraordinary journey. Dawn's mission began with a 14-month study of Vesta, the second-largest asteroid in the asteroid belt. During this time, Dawn transmitted detailed images and data, 
revealing Vesta's complex surface and varied geological history. After completing its primary mission at Vesta, Dawn embarked on the second, and possibly the most exciting, phase of its mission, a detailed investigation of the dwarf planet series. Thanks to its ion thrusters, Dawn was able to leave Vesta's orbit and set course for Ceres, an achievement that traditional chemical propulsion would have found challenging. These thrusters provided a continuous gentle push, enabling Dawn to travel vast distances efficiently and enter a stable orbit around Ceres. Discovered in 1801 by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi, Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. For a long time, it was considered the smallest dwarf planet in our solar system until its renaming in 2006. With a diameter of about 950 kilometers, Ceres is the largest and most massive body in the asteroid belt and one of the most intriguing due to its unique characteristics. As dawn approached Ceres, scientists eagerly awaited the first detailed images of this enigmatic world. They observed bright spots scattered across its surface, most notably within a large crater now known as a cater. These bright spots sparked immediate interest and speculation among mainstream scientists. Before Dawn's mission, the best image of Ceres was a blurry, low-resolution photo taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Scientists knew very little about this dwarf planet, and the prospect of finally obtaining a close-up view was exhilarating. What mysteries would Ceres reveal? What new insights awaited the mission? Dawn promised to enhance our understanding of the solar system's evolution and the role of water in shaping planetary bodies. The bright spots on Ceres were unlike anything seen on other asteroids. They appeared to be composed of highly reflective material, possibly salts left behind by sublimated water. This led to the hypothesis of cryovolcanism on Ceres, a process where volcanoes erupt with water or briny fluids instead of molten rock. But what exactly are these mysterious lights, and what do they reveal about Ceres? Could they be evidence of ongoing geological activity or something even more unusual? Ceres stands out from other celestial bodies in the asteroid belt due to its size, mass, unique composition, and potential for water and ice. Unlike typical rocky asteroids, Ceres has a composition more akin to a comet, suggesting it holds more secrets about the early solar system than previously thought. After two years on its journey, the Dawn spacecraft finally began its approach to Ceres in mid-2015. This milestone marked a significant achievement in the mission, as Dawn was able to provide humankind's first close-up views of the largest object in the asteroid belt. As Dawn got closer, the images of Ceres became increasingly detailed, offering glimpses of a world previously shrouded in mystery. The initial images revealed a surface dotted with craters, indicative of a long history of impacts. However, it wasn't just the craters that caught the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts. Among these features were unusual bright spots that starkly contrasted with the darker, rocky terrain. As the images improved in resolution, scientists buzzed with theories about the nature of these bright spots. Were they ice patches reflecting sunlight? Or could they be something even more exotic? Theories ranged from mineral deposits to potential signs of cryovolcanic activity.